today we are going to talk about cervical disc herniations. These are herniated discs or bulging discs that cause pain in the neck and pain that can radiate into the arms and the fingers. These are quite common conditions and can occur because of aging and degeneration from trauma or from accidents such as a motor vehicle accident. This condition often results in pain that starts in the neck, radiates down the shoulder and into the arm and sometimes into the hand. It can cause numbness and tingling. Most people with a herniated disc in the cervical spine do not need surgery. We can often treat these with physical therapy, sometimes use something called traction, which we'll talk about later, medications such as anti-inflammatory medications, and possibly injection therapy. If you start developing progressive numbness, weakness, or pain that isn't going away with these treatments, we can talk about surgery. As you can see, this is a sideways view of the cervical spine. We start by looking at the back of the head over here. This is the posterior or back aspect of the neck and head. This is the front. This is the cheek area, the nose is here, and the eyes are here. This is the bottom part of the brain, and this is the spinal cord coming down. This is a normal bone, and this is a normal disc. As you can see, a normal disc stops well before it touches the spinal cord. The white space is spinal fluid that's supposed to surround the spine. This is an example of a large herniated disc. As you can see, it's touching and pushing on the spinal cord. That can result in pain, numbness, and tingling that radiates from the neck into the shoulders, down into the arms and hands. Surgery may be discussed when your pain in the neck, the arm, does not get better and uh, you failed conservative treatment measures, including medications, physical therapy, or injections. Treatments for cervical disc herniations most commonly involve a treatment called anterior, which means front, cervical, which means neck, discectomy, which means to remove the disc, and finally fusion to help stabilize the spine. 